Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, always drink a water, baby. That's what I do. But, guys, we are here to talk about TR, son. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Gonna bring up a few things. Gonna go over a few topics with this. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is just the game in general, what I think of it, uh, so far anyways. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is kind of the whole, these dumb little things I'm hearing between Uncharted and Tomb Raider for some crazy reason. And the last thing is going to be something that, uh, this is something that me and Icy were talking about in Skype very briefly about, um, Uncharted and everything. Just kind of my, my little two cents in there or whatever. But I'm going to get to that eventually. But first, I want to say, this game is fucking nasty. So far, this game is dope. Like, I am loving this shit. Um, I've been, guys, you know I've been talking about this game for a while. I've been waiting on this game for two years. It was my most anticipated game for a long time. And it is doing its fucking thing. And right now... Honest to God's truth, I am enjoying it more than I have enjoyed Uncharted games. Um, you know, it just is what it is. Uh, Uncharted, you know, I'm, I'm going to get into that actually. I was about to get into the last thing eventually. But with this Tomb Raider, they went with a more darker, just, just like I was saying before, before the game came out, a more darker, more realistic tone. They made Laura Croft into an actual fleshed out character. Other than just this fucking invulnerable fucking woman that can just jump and shoot shit. And she she really had nothing behind her whatsoever. It was just like, oh, you're a fucking female with big ass titties and you're fucking raiding tombs. You know, that's all it was. But they, they made her to an actual character. Just like I was hoping they were going to do. Uh, before they talk about the articles and everything. Definitely was awesome. Um, and from the moment the game starts to the where the point I'm at now, it's just fucking dopeness. You know what I'm saying? Plain and, plain and simple. The game is dope. Um, I really have nothing really negative to say about it, uh, as of yet. It's just really damn solid, man. It's very solid. Uh, and I gotta say it again, I love the fact that that they went with a more serious kind of straight up like go-getter kind of you know badass kind of tone to it because like it's it's gruesome it's you know what I'm saying it's, it just goes hard plain and simple it goes hard and I love that shit like she, she's like she's she's going through this stuff trying to survive but what she has to do goes hard. You know what I'm saying? It's not like she's just sitting there like, Yeah, fuck you, motherfucker. Like talking shit to everybody. Like, no. She's like, she's like, why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? It's like she's just trying to survive this shit. And she's doing this gruesome ass shit. And you're just fucking everybody up. She's game's fucking dope. Plain and simple. Next thing I want to talk about is like these stupid little fucking comments that I'm hearing. You know, uh, for, actually, hold up. Before I get to that, I want to say something about other things too like the animations in the game the the ambiance the sound everything just flows together with this shit man um there's like little things that you notice like and i love the camera angles that they use like there's this one point when you have you're kind of wedged between these two like um not really pillars but uh, like this cut in this mountain, so there's wall here and wall here, and you're like you're getting in there sideways and shit, and she's climbing up, and just how they show it, how you show you going up and everything, like it's 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 just dope, man. They they definitely went all out with this shit, um, and uh, and and the way that you upgrade your your stuff and you use your skills, and how you have to go about upgrading it with um, salvaging things and everything and putting every putting the stuff together um, <coughs> and like I 
I've said the animations are just dope, man. Like, if you're close to, like, if, if you have the torch out already and you're close to, close to, like, some type of fire, she'll automatically, like, put her fucking torch out towards it and she'll light it up. And then, you know, like, like just crazy shit. And if you're up against a wall or something, she'll put her, she'll put her hand out against the wall and stuff. Um, like, l little things, like, something like that, yeah, I see in Uncharted, but, like, there was this one point, it was, like, close to the beginning where, like, she was, she was real cold and stuff, and, like, you can actually see her shivering, you know what I'm saying, like, like, the whole time, you know, she's doing her stuff, but she's, like, she's cold as shit, she's shivering and stuff, it was fucking nasty, it was fucking awesome, but, um, the next thing I want to talk about is this whole Uncharted Tomb Raider bullshit. You know, people talking about, oh, oh, she, she pick, picking up relics and all this shit. Man, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Laura Croft was picking up relics in Tomb before Drake was fucking born. Plain and simple. Factual. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I, I'm seeing shit like this, and I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, it makes no sense. Um, and just, just a lot of other things. Like, oh, it's trying to be, like, Uncharted. Like, Uncharted was trying to be, like, Tomb Raider. Like, what are you trying to, what are you, what are you trying to do? I don't know. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. But um, the next thing I do want to say, without a doubt, is... Um, this little thing me and Icy was talking about uh, before and uh, earlier in the Skype chat. Um, let me see if I can remember it correctly. Um, that he he was saying that he he wished that Uncharted was a little bit more kind of you know gruesome or whatever and everything, and and that Drake isn't really like like he he felt you know a little more attached to the character of Laura Croft because of this Tomb Raider and stuff and everything. And I, I, I understood that. I mean, it makes perfect sense. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with him. But the problem with that is that from the first Uncharted game, it started off with, okay, they, they kind of have the same problem that Tomb Raider had, but not as severe. Because Drake is a character that is pretty fleshed out, but not completely. Drake has a good personality. He, like Drake is Drake. Drake is perfectly fine as he is. I like I enjoy Drake for who he is. Like he's funny. It's it's an enjoyable type of game. You know, it's 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 funny, sarcastic, whatever, kind of laid back, chill in a sense, and everything. That's who Drake is. You know, I, I I like that. I don't want a replica of Tomb Raider in a sense. I don't want some badass guy. You know what I'm saying? Like Drake fits for who what, what he's all about. But the thing is, is that um, it's kind of too late for Drake to kind of, for Uncharted game, for Drake as a character to veer off in a different direction, because there's already been three games to kind of define him, you know? It's really too late for that. The only way that they could help flesh out the character a little bit more is if they do more of a backstory on Drake. And they kind of did that with part three. But if they make another one, which I think they are, I believe, um, they're going to have to do that even more. And it still won't be adequate enough because this Tomb Raider is an origin story, period. You know what I'm saying? It's about how she became the survivor, how she became the badass in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's why, to people, this character seems so much more dominant, you know what I'm saying? It's because they did that, and they took the right approach from it, for it. And as far as the gameplay of it being more gruesome and everything, like I said, I'm glad Tomb Raider did that, but it's the same kind of concept. It's like, okay, you have three Uncharted, they're all this certain way, but then Uncharted 4 is all of a sudden just going to be fucking gruesome and fucking all this shit, like, it's gonna be, like, wow, like, like, I'm not saying it won't work, it'll probably be dope, but at the 
same time, it'll be such a big contrast from the other ones that I don't know that it it just won't flow right, you know. But uh, but like I said, I I think what Naughty Dog has done with Uncharted works perfectly fine. I just think that they need to make a grand, awesome story out of the last one. You know what I'm saying? If they are making a fourth one, I'm pretty sure they are. I can't rem- remember the news exactly, but I think they are. I think they just need to make a great story out of it with great set pieces, awesome action scenes, awesome events, and, you know, just just a, a great game. You know what I'm saying? Just like this Tomb Raider is. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you are on the fence about picking up Tomb Raider, I'm telling y'all, check it out. I played like two matches online, and it's alright. It's it's not bad at all. But I will say it does need some patching, <laughs> like uh, here and there and stuff. But it's really not that bad. Um, but uh, the single player is definitely where it's at. It is fucking awesome, badass. I love it. I'm loving it so far, loving it, and I just, I can't get enough of it, you know what I'm saying, I really can't, and I hope that as they progress with Tomb Raider, they keep the same kind of, you know, progression with the character, do not let the king slash queen of this genre of games fall again, you know what I'm saying, Cause I've always said it like like Laura Croft with the Tomb Raider shit is the rightful holder of the throne of this type of this genre of game plain and simple you know what I'm saying like hopefully with this game they can build and make even better games because like like I said I'm enjoying this game the only thing that I liked about Uncharted more than this is the sense of like I don't know it, it just depends on what kind of games you like you want to play something that's fucking that goes hard that's badass as shit and just has you know what i'm saying these gruesome kills and all this stuff and all these different elements in the game with like skills and leveling up your 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 you know equipment and weapons as you're going through a game or do you want to play a game that's just a great kind of fun funny kind of entertaining experience through the the entire game from beginning to end it's kind of that thing you know, uh, because on one hand you have a fun, entertaining experience, and on the other one you have a badass, entertaining, enjoyable experience. Fun or funny, or fucking go hard badass. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that kind of thing right there. But anyways, I'm done. I'm out of here. Tomb Raider, let's go.